with drawing odds at less than 1% and hunters receiving just one of these licenses in their lifetime. Drawing a mountain goat license in Wyoming is like winning the lotto. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department and Idaho Department of Fish and Game are keeping that dream alive for hunters by sharing population data and doing regular surveys of the Palisades goat herd on the Wyoming-Idaho border of northwest Wyoming. Researchers want to know more about the animal's movement and distribution between the two states, along with the goat's reproductive success. The Palisades herd of Wyoming has never been subject to specific research and monitoring, specifically the presence of disease and parasites, so an effort has begun to obtain that data. Mountain goats wandered over the border into Wyoming after Idaho Fish and Game transplanted the animals in the Snake River Range of southeastern Idaho in 1969 and 1971. By 1996, Hunt Area 2 in Wyoming was created with a population objective of 50 goats. Aerial surveys from 2010 and 2012 now show as many as 130 mountain goats in that region. Management has been conservative. Only between four to eight licenses a year have been issued since 1999. As mountain goats have since dispersed into Grand Teton National Park and adjacent Wyoming bighorn sheep hunt areas, their presence in these areas presents the potential of resource competition with and disease transmission to bighorns. To assess these potential risks, up to 20 mountain goats, two years of age or older, will be captured. Blood samples are being taken to test for the presence of a pathogen found in both bighorn sheep and mountain goats that can cause pneumonia. Radio collaring some of the goats will provide migration data, and culture samples also determine the presence of pneumonia and evaluate herd health. Disease monitoring of mountain goats is critical. The Palisades herd occupies an area where dispersal into bighorn sheep habitats is occurring, so the potential exists the animals could harbor infectious diseases that might also impact bighorn sheep. Migration, interstate movements, and summer distribution data will be valuable for managers to document and evaluate, not only to keep bighorn sheep and mountain goat populations healthy, but also keep the dream of drawing a license alive for hunters. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.